hey Gracie I found your car so looking gonna go gonna go in it right now it's really cool it's got remote start that's pretty awesome so I'm gonna try that right now make sure it works but I'll give you kind of a little little walk through of the car um, before you get here make sure it's something you like here we go all right so here I'm walking up to the Dodge Ram trying to remote start see if this thing works Maybe I'm doing it wrong. There you go. Ah, there we go, perfect. Remote start works, that's awesome. So just a, kind of on the outside, a couple of things that they did. I guess there was some paintless dent repair that they needed to replace or to fix on the driver's side. Uh, looks really good, I'm not sure where it was, so uh, that's a good sign. Um, tire tire te tread depth is pretty good. Um, looks like, I mean, it's probably a good, you know, seven, 30 seconds probably still on the tire. Sorry about that. Um, so. Pretty good, pretty good uh, tread depth still left on the tires. Um, real nice back bumper. Looks like this guy was an Army vet, since it says U.S. Army retired. Um, yeah, really nice uh, liner in the trunk. Have some all-weather mats that comes with it. Looks like it was driven a little bit because you got a little hole coming in this one, but overall, um, that's nice that it comes with mats. It's pretty cool. A lot of times they don't. Um, yeah, looks like the big red one. My dad was also with the big red one station at Fort Riley. Um, so there you go. Yeah, super nice, beautiful silver color. Um, let me open this back door here for you. Another thing they said that they were looked on was a uh, headliner. So I'm not sure what they had to do to the headliner, but I don't see any major issues with it. So I'm not sure if there was just a couple of stains or something that they needed to get out, but um, uh, that looks like it's been addressed. Um, it's not a it's not a not a crew cab per se. It's more of an extended cab. So I mean, I'm gonna sit in the back seat here, uh, so you can kind of see, you know. So my legs are you know right up against it, but there's also quite a bit of space in the front too. So um, if you need a lot of back back space, um, hopefully there's enough for you. Looks like my fingers made a mark there. That's cool. Um, Sorry. Um, opening up this side here. I like how this is, this gets put away like that. That's nice. So it's out of the way when you're not wanting to use it. That lifts up if you need it. What do you got here? Oh, lots of space inside. A little divider wall if you want to hide stuff in there. It's pretty cool. I love it. Anyway, yeah, there's your, there's your uh, lockable all-wheel drive system there. Normally it's in two-wheel. Um, rear nice little display there because the car is on and yeah I think that looks good a couple nice places to hide stuff here inside there Got a little USB port right there that's interesting not sure what that is and also another place to hide some stuff down there all right let's go to the front really nice in the front I mean there's Another thing they have, that's that that's the deal that needs to get done. Uh, it looks like it also says uh, windshield repair. So I'm not sure if there was a couple of cracks or something in it. I don't see anything super visible. So maybe we can check it out. But yeah, I mean, the front of it's really nice. A lot of times when it's got this many miles, you see a bunch of chips in the front of the car. And I don't really see that. Pretty impressive. The guy must have taken some pretty good care of it. So let's... On the driver's side here. Start this bad boy up. All right. So now we're ready to go. A little drive action. I'm just gonna drive around the parking lot real fast. And uh, but yeah, it seems seems like a really nice car. So I'll give you a call here shortly. Bye.